Okay, welcome back to our second video on making the neck. Last time I stressed the importance of numbering your works. We laid out our pieces before we cut them and I had them one, two, three, four. And since then obviously I've gone along and I've cut them on the drop saw. Now this is where the numbers are important. This is the neck of the guitar, of the guitar here. And what I'm going to do is called bookmarking the, and I'm going to glue this on here, but it's called bookmarking. Just so the grain direction matches up, I'm going to fold that around the same way that it came off the timber. And I can glue that member up like that. If you have a close look at the grain direction, that's going to be the best way of getting the grain to sort of like match up, or it's called like to bookmark up, and so you can see like there's a mirror image on it. On the other end of our piece of timber, I've got members three and four here. I can fold both of the pieces this way to create that bookmark end. And then I'm going to fold number four back again. And you can see there I've done like a, like a three way sort of a bookmark. And that later on when we cut and shape our wood, it's all going to look like one piece of timber and all the grain direction and the figure of the grain is going to come together nice and neatly. Before you glue your work up, just think about the things that you need when you're doing your glue. I've got the glue bottle ready to go. I've got a wet rag ready to go. Is there anything else that I need? I need to like, you know, make sure I've got a vice available. I might even need some G clamps available. Just to make it a bit easier myself, I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue it up in two sections. I'm gonna glue this up in one section, and then I'm gonna glue this, this section up in another at, at a separate time, instead of trying to do it all at once. Okay? And, guys, I'm not gonna actually show you the gluing up process, but I'm sure you can go ahead from there, glue it up, clamp your work. It needs to sit in the clamp for eight to 10 hours. 